One of the most widely known mathematicians may have also been a murderous cult leader who also hated beans. We all know his theorem, but what do we really know about him? Well, let's talk about him in this video on Pythagoras. Welcome to the series on the history of mathematics by Shrouded Science. Be sure to check out previous episodes and subscribe for future content. Who was Pythagoras? Pythagoras was a pre-Socratic philosopher born in Samos. Very little is known of his early life, except that he travelled a lot accumulating knowledge. Like other Greek philosophers of the time, the ideas and intuition Pythagoras developed about the world can be traced to ancient Egyptian and Babylonian knowledge and culture. This also extended to his most prominent discovery, the Pythagorean theorem. This states that in a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the adjacent sides, or in a more familiar format, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Whilst this discovery is attributed to Pythagoras in classical antiquity, there is substantial evidence that this knowledge was known in ancient Egyptian, Babylonian and Indian civilizations, with some evidence suggesting that this result was discovered a millennium before Pythagoras. Like many prominent philosophers of the time, there aren't any original texts about him and the most comprehensive accounts of his life were written centuries later. So how did he actually become famous? Well his rise is not attributed to mathematics as we would think, but through his spiritual teachings. He rose to fame around the age of 40 in Crota. Both Plato and Isocrates state that, above all else, Pythagoras was known as the founder of a new way of life. This is what we now call Pythagoreanism. This functioned as a religion or even a cult with Pythagoras at the centre of it. His followers revered him as an almost divine figure to whom superhuman acts and miracles were attributed to, such as the ability to appear in two places at once. They followed many rules, such as a strict vegetarian diet, as well as ritualistic practices such as putting on one's right sandal first, not breaking bread, or avoiding roads shared with the public. And with this also came the prohibition of beans. His followers were banned from the consumption of beans, which some argue is due to its supposed relation with sexuality in Greek mythology. The religion heavily emphasised the role of mathematics. Aristotle said the so-called Pythagoreans who were the first to take up mathematics not only advanced this subject but saturated with it. They fancied that the principles of mathematics were the principles of all things. However, the Pythagoreans used mathematics for a solely mystical reason, devoid of practical applications. A key part of their beliefs revolved around what we call numerology, which is the relationship of numbers to the divine or mystical. He therefore amassed a large following with mathematics as a core tenant, and this is seen most clearly in the fate of one of his followers, whom he is said to have murdered. This is where we enter the realm of speculation. Within his teachings there was a belief that all numbers were rational. This does not mean numbers were reasonable or wise, but instead any number could be expressed as a ratio of two whole numbers. However the Pythagoreans discovered a proof that violated this belief, and this would mean Pythagoras was wrong. In fact this could actually be proved incorrect with his own theorem using a right angle triangle with size of unit length. The hypotenuse is equal to root 2, which is an irrational number. This finding angered and possibly scared Pythagoras who sought to have its truth remain hidden. However a follower, Hippasus, revealed this to others. In a fit of rage with his omniscient presence challenge, he is said to have thrown his follower into the sea, drowning them. Being the centre of a religion that focused around numbers and having a large number of followers, it is easy to see how the discovery of the theorem was attributed to Pythagoras. With the influence and prevalence of his followers, he would be able to shape the writing of history, whether knowingly or unknowingly. Join me next time as we talk about the discovery of zero, so consider subscribing to stay up to date and check out other videos in the series. Thanks for watching.